Ah, Christmas! Oh, I love decorating the tree! It's like my favorite holiday! We get to do everything, even make gingerbread houses! Oh. Hey, Chef BB, can I help? Huh, no, I'm doing it by myself. I don't need any help, Junior. Just leave, please. No, I'm gonna put a piece of Lunchable on the tree. Wait, wait, what? <laughs> Lunchable doesn't go on the tree, Junior! What is wrong with you? I'm well, sorry. <laughs> why would you put cheese and freaking turkey meat up in the tree? No! Well, look, look, it's a nice cheesy tree, and I, and I put a piece of turkey for my Lunchable. It's a turkey tree. Gobble, 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 gobble. What is your problem? Why would you put that in a tree? Well, I don't have any ornaments. You already did all the ornaments. So I want to put pieces of my Lunchable on the tree to feed all the starving children of the world. That doesn't even make any sense, Junior. Oh, my God. You know what? I'm just leaving the room. I, I can't stand this. Hey, we should, BB. We got to finish the tree. Come back. Oh, I can't stand Chef, it. Oh, shit, BB. We need to finish the tree. Come out. Please. Do you want to build a snowman? We live in Florida, Junior. What the hell is wrong with you? Oh. Well, I'm going to invite my friends over. Why? Yay, yeah, those are my friends. <laughs> Josie and Cody. Hey, hey, dude. Um, can you just let us inside? Because we're freezing. Yeah. Oh. Is it really that cold outside? Yes. Yes. Oh. Well, I have to ask my dad if y'all can come inside. Uh, what? I'm just playing. Come on, guys. Okay. All right, guys. Look at my Christmas tree. Isn't it beautiful? Oh, yeah. Is it turkey? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's turkey and cheese for my Lunchable. I, I put it on my tree to represent starving children. Oh. Okay. Yeah, but anyway, did I do an amazing job? I decorated it all by myself. I even put the star on top. Wait, wait. How did you put the star on top? You can't even reach up there. Uh, yeah, I can. Uh, we, we hover, see? Oh, oh, oh yeah. I forgot yeah, yeah, about that. Yeah, but anyway, didn't I do an amazing job? Yeah, it's pretty shiny. Yeah, we should go play toys. I love playing toys. Wait, Junior, why do we have to play toys? I'm tired of playing toys. We play it every time. Come up with something new. Well, then what do you want to do then? What do you want to do in this boring town, huh? <sighs> um, well, Santa's at the mall. Well, why would we waste our time and go see a fake Santa at the mall when we have the real Santa here? Wait, what? He's here? Yeah, Chef Pee Pee is Santa Claus. He's in the bathroom right now. Uh, last year, I wanted to see Santa, and Chef Pee Pee told me he was the real Santa. So, so Chef Pee Pee's Santa Claus, he just didn't want to tell anyone because um, he wants to give me all the toys. That's crazy, man. Chef Pee Pee can't be Santa Claus. Well, I'll prove it. I'll, well, I'll go get him to admit to it. Hold on. <laughs> Chef Pee Pee! Chef Pee Pee! What do you want? I'm shaving and I'm still mad at you. Well, you know what you need to do when you're mad at me? What? Let it go. Let it go. Shut up, Shut Junior. That song is so old and the movie is too. It's like a year old. Everybody's over it. Well, well, anyway, um, are you still Santa Claus? No, I'm not Santa Claus. I never was Santa Claus. Uh, yeah, oh. yeah, you were last year. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh, well, I, I retired, yeah. It got too stressful for me. You know, those hours, you know, just riding on the sleigh and everything. Oh. Aw. Okay, then. Thank you, Jeff Pee Pee. Yeah, whatever. I'm gonna eat it. No, dude, that's nasty. That's his decoration. All right, guys. All right, guys. I just asked Chef Pee Pee, and he said he retired from being Santa. He said he couldn't do it anymore. It was too stressful. I knew it. <laughs> no, no, but he was last year, so I want to go see Santa at the mall. Oh, that'd be so fun. Oh, yeah, dude. That'd be awesome, man. I get to tell him what I want. Yeah, I'm going to tell him everything I want. Oh, who's Santa? Wait, what? What? I, I don't know who that is. I'm Jewish. <gasps> what, 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 what's, what's Jewish? Oh, you know, we... We light candles and collect coupons and box tops and I got a shoe one time. What? What? That? That? You don't? You don't even have a Christmas tree? No, no, just just candles. You don't know who Santa Claus is? No. I can't believe it! Oh my God, Cody, you can't be our friend. Santa Claus is a big fat guy with a beard who gives us presents for free. Oh, oh, I've I've seen that guy. Oh, you have? Yeah. Yeah. He lives, he lives in a box under the overpass. No, that's not Santa. That's, probably, that, that's probably some hobo. Oh. Santa lives in the North Pole. Well, that's impossible. It's extremely cold in the North Pole, and there are bears. Well, well, this Santa, Santa's so fat that he doesn't get cold, and, and his, his blubber makes him warm. That's what it is. Yeah, I think. Yeah. And, and elves, uh, they they are uh, they are the bears. So so you, you don't know. You know what? We're going to the mall so Cody can see Santa for the first time, okay? Yeah, let's go to the mall! I'm gonna ask Chef Pee Pee. Oh yeah, you have to do that. Go and do that. Oh, fine. Chef Pee Pee, Chef Pee Pee! Why are you invading my privacy? Jeez, Junior! Um, I ran out of songs. Oh, fine. Oh, no, no. All I want for Christmas is you! Shut up! What do you want? 
I want to know if you can take me and my friends to see Santa at the mall. Why do you want to see Santa at the mall? Because I want to tell him everything I want for Christmas because I've been super good this year, right? <laughs> Why, why are you laughing? Because that's a lie. You, you haven't been nowhere near good at all. Well, Chevy, please take me to the mall. Take me and my friends to the mall. We want to see Santa, please. Oh, and Cody's God. never heard of Santa, so he wants to see him. Come on. I'm, I'm not surprised Cody never heard of Santa, but I, I don't want to take you guys. Please. Uh, please. I'll get you something for Christmas. You better, but um, I kind of got to get gifts anyway, so I guess we can go to the mall. Yeah. I'm gonna go tell him. Come on, let's go. Yeah, let's go. Get in the car. Okay, guys, we're here. Wh where are we at? We're at the mall, idiot. What do you think? The mall? Yeah, the mall. Ah, we're at the mall, Chef BB. I can hear you. You really don't have to scream, okay? Cody, show Chef we're at the mall. Oh, boy. I'm gonna ask Santa for some penicillin. Oh, dude, I gotta get me a new basketball, I know. Well, I'm gonna ask Santa for a million things. A million, jillion, zillion, gazillion, billion, jillion, Okay, zillion. don't ask for anything outrageous and don't do anything too crazy, okay? Because I know this guy gets paid like minimum wage or something, I bet. But I but it's Santa that. Claus. Santa's a billionaire. I doubt it. I, I seriously doubt it, Santa. Then, then how does he how does he be able to make all these toys? Well, he has... Uh, uh, I don't know. I guess budget. I don't know. I can't really explain that, Junior. Well, anyway, let's go inside the mall. I really want to see Santa. Yeah, I'm really tired of your questions, too. Let's Come on, Joseph. Come on, Cody. All right, go, well, Junior. Go. Is that the real Santa? Of course it's the real Santa. You might want to tell him what you want for Christmas. Ah, the real Santa. Yeah, right. <gasps> calm down. Calm down. Junior, calm down. It's the real Santa, Sam, baby. I am the real Santa. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yep, the oh. and everything. You know what you want for Christmas? <laughs> Yeah, I want, um, I want, I want, I want a, I want a spaceship full of Cheez-Its. Wow, what? a spaceship yeah. full of Cheez-Its. Yeah, um, okay. how is the North Pole? Is it really cold? It's really cold up there. Oh my god, oh, that sounds awesome. Um, oh my god. Ha have you been good this year? Um, have I been good this year? Uh, no, he hasn't. He has not been good. Shut up, Jeffy. I know I've been amazing this year. I mean, I've, I've only made okay. my dad beat me a couple of times. <laughs> So, so, um, yeah, so am I gonna get my spaceship full of Cheez-Its? Well, you know, I'll try, but I can't promise, okay? You gotta be good. You better. What? You better be Junior, nice. Junior, you can insult Santa. What I didn't insult him, you? I just told him that, you know, I better find that under my tree. I'll try, okay? Make so, sure can I get a candy good. cane? Sure, you can have a can. I got a mint here for you. Here you go. Thank you, Santa. You're awesome. You're so welcome. Merry Christmas. Ho, 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 ho. Hi, little boy. Are, are you okay? Um, are you, are you okay? Uh, Sharon, you want to come get this weird kid off of me? Cody, what's wrong with you? Just tell him what you want for Christmas or get off him. Um, security, security. So you don't have to call security, I have him. Come on, Cody, you're, you're so weird. Well, Merry Christmas. Oh, man. Hi, Kiana. Hi, little boy. What would you like for Christmas? Oh, um, I have a huge list. Um, I would like okay. a basketball, uh -huh. a, a football so I can, like, run over people. Uh -huh. And, um, ooh, oh, I would like LeBron to come and see me, you know, for Christmas. And, you really? know, I can play in one-on-one -on -one so I can beat him because I know he's not better than me. Right, right. <laughs> yes. So can you can you make that happen? I think I can do that. Have oh, you been good this year? Of course, Shanna. I'm, I'm I have all A's in my report card. Well, that's good. You make sure you stay being good, okay? Oh, of course, Shanna. <laughs> Here, would you like a candy cane? Oh, yes. Oh, thank there you, Shanna. Go. <laughs> um, hi, Santa. Hi. Let's just cut to the chase, all right? Okay. Um, all I need for Christmas is... <laughs> I just need a new job because these... These kids run me crazy, I swear. I don't even like babysitting calm them. Calm down, calm down, calm down. It's okay. My boss is, he's so mean to me. He always making me cook like and clean and wash this right? little brat. Oh, I just want a new job. Please, can you make this happen some way, somehow? A new job? Well, you know what? I'll try to get you a new job, but you gotta love the kids. I'll try. Uh, I'll give him a smoothie or something. There you go. Maybe yeah. McDonald's. All right. Merry Christmas. Happy, have a happy New Year too, sir. Ho ho ho! Merry Christmas. Okay, Sam. Sam, I, I forgot something. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Um, okay. Um, so I, I don't want the spaceship full of cheese it's anymore. Okay. Okay. I want, I want an Xbox One right. and a PS4 mm -hmm. and, and a Wii U. Uh, Junior, what are you doing? Come on, get in no, the car. No, Santa, no. You no, already I, doing I what you want. want. Come on, come I on. want more things. You can have it all. Okay. Well, Merry Christmas, okay? Okay. And I want to... Um, I want to... No. 
Oh my god, I love Santa. What the hell were you guys thinking? What's wrong, Chef PB? You guys sit there and act really <laughs> retarded and foolish in front of Santa. Well, I had to tell Santa what I wanted for Christmas, and, and he said I was a good boy. You just asked for everything. You just went overboard. And Cody, what the hell was wrong with you? You just was weird as hell. Yeah, I'm sorry. He was just so dreamy. Oh my god, I swear you guys are retards. <sighs> so what are you going to do now? Where are we going? We're going home. We're not going back into the mall. You guys ruined my shopping day. I couldn't get anything done. Well, you promised we would get a smoothie. God. Who did I promise that to? You told Santa that you were going to get us a smoothie. You were going to start being nice to us. Oh, God. So smoothie time. Smoothie, oh. smoothie, smoothie, smoothie. Right? God, I guess so. You can't lie to Santa. Yay! Oh, my God. We're going to McDonald's to get a smoothie. Yeah, you're lucky. You're lucky it's Christmas, you little prick. Oh, my God. I got to get a smoothie. I'm going to get the best smoothie ever. I'm going to get seven smoothies. Um, Do you sell smoothies? We do. We have strawberry, banana, mango, pineapple, and blueberry pomegranate. Oh! I want a blueberry smoothie! Shut up! Shut I up, want a blueberry up. one! Shut Cody! Up. Cody, which one do you want? Uh, strawberry. Oh my god. Uh, a strawberry and a blueberry one! Uh, shut the, just shut the hell up, okay? I'm trying to order your I'm trying to order your food, okay? Um, what what did she say? Can I get um can I get a strawberry and a blueberry one, please? Yes, not a problem. Seven of them! Then we don't need fucking seven of them. Can I get a happy meal? Um, we don't need any Happy Meal, man. Chef PB, I want... about a brat. Um, I want a Happy Meal. We're gonna pull up. I want a Happy... Oh my God. Happy shut Meal! Shut up, shut up, Junior. Ah, oh, my God, Chef PB, this is the best blueberry smoothie ever. Thank you. Whatever. You better drink every single bit of it, too. You too, Cody. Yeah, Cody, how are you liking your smoothie? Well, it's good, but it's making my nipples hard. <laughs> oh my God, you're so damn weird, Cody. Uh, Joseph, why didn't you want a smoothie? Dude, I don't drink smoothies. I'm athletic. I gotta watch my figure, duh. Wow, he's actually healthy. You should be more like him, Junior. That's dumb, Joseph. You gotta eat a bunch of fast food and Happy Meals and smoothies. He's probably gonna live a long life, and you're gonna die at age 22, dude. Uh, well, anyway, where are we going now, Chef PB? Full home. We were not going anywhere else. We just came from the mall in McDonald's. We're not going anywhere else. You got smoothies, dude. You basically ruined my day. Okay, I guess we're gonna go home. I really hope Santa gets me what I want for Christmas. Jingle bells. My armpit smells. My girlfriend ran away. I have no friend. I dropped my contact lens. But my luck will change someday. I freaking hate my life. Hey, what's going on, guys? Sunday here, and welcome back to another mod review. This is the Wintercraft mod or that uh, Christmas mod. I'm gonna call this thing the Christmas mod because it has in a bunch of Christmas crap and it's just awesome and I'm eating a freaking Christmas cookie. Look at me. <laughs> I'm eating a Christmas cookie. So, so yeah dudes, uh, this mod adds in a bunch of new items, um, a new furnace type thing. It adds in some ice cream, some freaking weapons, and it adds in a way to build a or make a Christmas tree, right? And then when you go to sleep it has a chance for Santa to come to to bring you freaking presents. Yes, Santa will come and bring you presents. It's insane. You dudes ready to check out this mod? Let's do this. Oh yeah, but first congratulations to Forrest Simon. He commented on my last mod review and he won that HD photo. If any of you are interested in winning this mod review's HD photo, be sure to leave a comment and a like down below for your chance to win. Uh, maybe we can get this mod review, this special Christmas mod review <laughs> to uh, 13 or 14,000 likes that would be awesome dudes I know you dudes can do it <laughs> let's do this okay so the first set of items we have here these are decorations for the the, the tree <laughs> this is the tree uh, that uh, spawns in Santa Claus not really Santa Claus mob he just he, he brings you freaking presents <laughs> which are freaking awesome okay let's go through these items really fast uh, you have use for snow now snow bricks uh, snow slabs snow stairs that's the crafting recipes just regular snow um, now you get into the actual uh, uh, freaking recipes look at that Christmas tree I decorated it myself well, well, actually with the lights <laughs> it looks good doesn't it yes okay so uh these are the crafting recipes uh this these are christmas lights uh these are light blocks um pretty much what you do is you just walk up to a regular tree uh and place these on the uh the the, the leaves and yeah it makes those and they're pretty yay for pretty blocks 
And the next decoration we have here is the fr the fruit cake. Oh gosh, <laughs> the fruit cake. Uh, I'll show you the crafting recipe for the fruit cake later. Uh, but this is the crafting recipe. Yeah, you put that in your inventory, you get fruit cake blocks. You can't eat these. They're strictly for decoration. Oh dear lord. All right, and the next decorations we have here is the green candle and the red candle. That's crafting recipes. I think these act as torches and light up the area. Pretty expensive torches, <laughs> but they're awesome. Look at them. I wonder if they ever melt. Freaking melt, dude. <laughs> Freaking melt. All right, and the next set of items we have here is the wreath. That's the crafting recipe. And the decorated door. These are freaking sick, dude. The wreath, you can just put it on anything and it makes a wreath. And then you can combine the two and make a decorated door like I have over here. Look at that. It's freaking awesome. And it opens and closes and you have a wreath on the door. It's so sick. All right, and the next set of items we have here is red ornament, green ornament, star, and stocking, which doesn't have a crafting recipe that I know of from the forums. Uh, but yeah, these are the decorations. Put the stockings anywhere. They're awesome. And then you take the star, right? Uh, this is what the this is the final step to making the Christmas tree, which I'll show you later in the house. <laughs> uh, and yeah, I'll show you how to do that later. It's pretty tough. Not really, but yeah. Okay. So you take the Christmas tree or the uh, star and put it on top of like leaves, but. I think it only works on top of the Christmas tree. So I'll show you that later. And then uh, you take the ornaments and you put them under things. Yeah, like this. See? It's so pretty. Okay, I gotta, I gotta put it there. Oh, look! <laughs> it's an ornament on an ornament! <laughs> freaking ornament action! That's that's awkward. That's that's freaking awkward. Okay, so let's move on to the food that gi Oh, gosh. The food that gives you gas. Oh, why did I write that? Okay, let's move on to the food that gives you gas. So, these are all the crafting recipes. Uh, this is the freezer. It's uh, uh, an amplified furnace and lets you make a crap ton of new items. I'll show you all that soon. Um, yeah, this is the basic steps. You put something in the two top layers and then put snow or snow bricks in the bottom as fuel. And then it makes certain things. I'll show you everything soon. But first, let's go through all the food. Uh, this is how you make a mug. Um, that's the crafting recipe, and then that's the crafting recipe to make eggnog, that's the crafting recipe to make chocolate milk, these are marshmallows, I'm not sure the crafting recipe of that, maybe they're drops from the presents, which I'll show you later, um, and, uh, that's chocolate milk, right, and then you put chocolate milk in the furnace, and you get hot chocolate, which fills up eight of your hunger, and gives you a speed boost, it's absolutely insane, but, be sure to hang on to all hot chocolate you get, because I will show you later why it is very important to hold on to your hot chocolate. Alright, and the next food item we have here is the Christmas cookie. This is also very important, so be sure to hang on to at least one. <laughs> this is the crafting recipe. I'm not sure how to make gingerbread man. They might just be drops from the presents. Also, I'm not 100% sure, but yes. Be sure to hang on to the Christmas cookies, dudes. Santa Claus will be happy you did. All right, and the last set of food items we have here is waffle cone, and that just opens up a whole new door of frickin' uh, food, and I'll show you that soon. And then the vanilla ice cream, which that's how you make the vanilla, vanilla ice cream like that. Sugar, milk, and uh, snow bricks. Vanilla ice cream. Sweet. Okay, so let's move on to the ice cream sundae. Did I really... Oh, good God. I really need to stop doing these signs like this. <laughs> I'm so stupid. Okay, so this is ice cream. These are all the different uh, crafting recipes of ice cream. So what you want to do here is you want to take cocoa beans and vanilla ice cream, put it in your freezer like this, and then you'll get a coco a chocolate ice cream. Put that over a waffle a waffle cone, a waffle cone, and you'll get chocolate cone. Right? The chocolate chocolate cone fills three hunger and gives you ten seconds of strength boost. That's insane. Then you can do the same thing with strawberry get regeneration same thing with cookie dough that sounds good and you get speed boost and you can also do it with that uh, magma creams that doesn't sound appetizing at all i really do not want to eat what comes out of a magma cream <laughs> but if you ever want to you'll get fire protection oh dear lord that's disgusting Okay, let's move on to the presents of coal. Oh gosh, I hope I don't get any coal. So, uh, these presents randomly spawn in your world in, igl in igloos, which I'll show you soon. Um, or whenever you go to sleep and if you have a Christmas tree and Santa Claus comes, he'll give you some presents. It's crazy. So let's go through a few of these presents. I'm gonna lay down four of each. Let's just lay down four of each and see what items I actually get. They're completely random. Let's do this. You guys ready? Let's go. Okay, leather helmet. That's not very good. 
What's this? Iron helmet. Nice. What's this? Oh, iron chest plate. What's this? An iron door. What the freak am I going to do with an iron door? Okay, so let's move on to the green items. Let's see what these drop here. Okay, what is that? What the crap is that? Oh, that's an ice shard. That's right. Okay, so I'm guessing the red presents are vanilla Minecraft drops and the green presents are the actual mod drops. Okay, let's see what this is. Okay, that's a, a vanilla ice cream. Nice. What's that? Oh, that's a rock uh, snowball. I'll show you that soon. It does a crap ton of damage. Well, a little bit of damage. All right, what's this? Um, oh, what is that? What the crap is that? What, what is, oh, a red ornament. Okay, it looked different. Cool. I got me a red ornament. That's awesome. All right, so let's move on to the actual freezer items. These are pretty cool. Not too complicated, but I'll show you how to do them just in case you get confused. Um, okay, so this is the basic crafting recipe. You need this ice chunk. To make this, you need nine ice shards, which I showed you over there that dropped from the present. That's the ice shard. You take this ice shard, combine it with different items in the freezer up here. Um, so like this, you take the ice chunk, put it in the freezer alongside of an unstable ice gem, and you'll get an ice gem. And I'll show you what this ice gem is used for later. It's freaking sick and then you can make uh, ice stone you can make ice ingots which i'll show you what to do with that later and you can also make ice crystals from diamonds it's pretty sick i'll show you do it soon all right and the next set of items we have here is the rocky snowball that's the crafting recipe and the ice ball what you want to do here is take two rocky snowballs put them up here and you'll get an ice ball which these do a good amount of damage let's go ahead and use these things on a <laughs> on a money stealer. Come here, money stealer. I'm tired of you taking my money. All right, Rocky Snowball to the dome. Oh, nice. Okay, that did two hearts. Or uh, two hit points. Let's see how much the ice ball does. Hey, dude. Get down from there. Get down from... Come here, dude. Come here. I know you're pissed. There we go. Five hearts. Nice. That's some good damage. You stupid money stealer. You're a freak, dude. All right, so let's move on to the weapons that hurt your face. <laughs> weapons that hurt your face. Let's do this. All right, so this is more than just weapons. There's actual tools and everything. So what you want to do is take these ice ingots from over here, right? And uh, put them in these crafting recipes. Oh, yeah, I forgot. There's also iron sticks. Uh, this is the crafting recipe for iron sticks. Uh, you take three iron ingots, and you'll get three iron sticks, right? Uh, pretty simple. Um... So yeah, these are the refined ice, pickaxe, refined ice, all the uh, tools for the refined ice. I think they're a little bit stronger than iron or more durability. I'm not 100% sure, but yeah, these are the crafting recipes. It's pretty sick. All right, and the next set of items we have here is the crystallized sword. So you want to take the uh, ice crystals from the diamonds, and that, that's the crafting recipe. Get the crystallized sword, which does as much damage as a diamond sword, which I think it should do more because it does cost a crap ton more. So I don't know. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent about this. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> let's move on. We also have an ice staff, which is freaking insane, dudes. That's the crafting recipe. It's crazy. I'll show you what this does soon. And then uh, we have a ice shard sword, which does plus 12 attack damage. It doesn't currently currently have a crafting recipe. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it drops from the actual presence. But yeah, it's freaking sick. Let's go see how much damage this freaking ice sword does on the money stealer. <laughs> 12 damage. It's a one shot KO. All right, let's get more of these freaks out. Let's see how much damage. Let's see how much damage. 13, and he's dead. Let's see if I can one-shot one of these things with a crit. One shot! 19 damage. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. And then... Wait, why didn't that do damage? Okay, it's supposed to do damage. Maybe not. Alright, so uh, the ice staff, when used, you right-click and it shoots a snowball out, and it freezes things in place. It's freaking sick. And you can just spam it. Freaking spam it! You're freaking slowed! Okay, so now let's move on to the different mobs that are added to this game. It's pretty cool. I like this. Okay, so they added a polar bear. Oh, dear lord. A uh, mini snow golem, a gingerbread man, and a penguin. Yeah, a freaking penguin. <laughs> let's go through all these mobs. Let's go through... I, I don't think the penguin's hostile. Okay, let's see what he looks like. Oh, he's so cute. I gotta get a sword first. I gotta kill your face. I'm so, No, I'm gonna actually leave you. You're, is he hostile when you piss... Oh, he gets pissed after you hit him. Oh, no. It's a pissed off freaking penguin. I gotta kill him. You're freaking evil, dude. And he drops fish. <laughs> Dear Lord, a penguin was just pissed at me? What world do I live in? Okay, the next mob we have here is a gingerbread man. He actually is very hostile. Uh, yeah! I didn't think he was that fast! Oh, dear lord. Let's see how much damage he does. 
Eh, okay, two hearts. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. Now nah, you're dead. What do you drop? Does he drop anything? Oh, he drops gingerbread man. Go freaking figure. <laughs> so that's how you make uh, the food. That's how you make uh, the Christmas cookie. That's awesome. Okay, the next mob we have here is the polar bear. Uh, is he is he passive or is he angry? Okay, he is passive. I wonder if he gets pissed when you punch him. He has 26 hit points. Oh, gosh. Does he get mad when you punch him? Ah, no! <gasps> Three hearts of damage? Well, I guess it is a freaking polar bear, but good lord. You gotta die. To uh, no! Please, please. Oh, no. All right, so apparently uh, the polar bear hits like a small truck. <laughs> so let's move on. Let's move on to the mini snow golem. Uh, I think he's an angry mob. Let's see here. Hey, dude. Oh, no! He throws freaking rock snowballs at you. Oh, dear lord. You gotta die, dude. You gotta freaking... And he makes weird noises. Please. Please stop it. Oh, no! I can't even get close to him. He's worse than a freaking skeleton. You're worse than a freaking skeleton. Stop it! No! He has the accuracy of freaking... Uh, I don't know. John Wayne? Is he even a freaking football star? He's baseball? Who is John Wayne? Oh, no! Please. Please, dude. Please. Think about the jump. You got owned, bro. You got freaking owned. And did, did I see an ice shard? Did he drop an ice shard? Looks like he drops an ice shard. That's awesome. Okay, so a few of those mobs were actually supposed to drop music discs. Uh, uh, what is this? Deck the Halls and Jingle Bells. Okay, cool. And actually, these are made by Kevin MacLeod. So I don't think I'll get a copyright strike. So you guys want to listen? Let's listen in fast motion. Okay, let's let's move on to the next song. Jingle bells in fast motion. Okay, so now that the music is over, let's go ahead and move on to the Christmas tree. And let's hope Santa Claus brings us some freaking presents. Alright, so this is how you make the tree. You need 3x3 uh, three three wool, any color, and then you need 4 spruce wood, uh, 4 spruce wood, wood tall, and then spruce leaves. And then put, um, put the lights on it like that. And then put ornaments under all the leaves. And then you need to put a star on top let's do it and then whenever if, if you do it right if you do it correctly lightning will strike the tree and that's the mods way of showing that you did it right so let's see if i can get some lightning ready go what the crap does santa claus hate me or something Okay, so I think I figured out the problem. I, uh, I didn't put an ornament down there. <laughs> I'm such a dumb face. I, I just thought Santa Claus didn't love me. He didn't want to bring me presents. <laughs> but, alright, so let's do this. Let's put this star up here. Let's see if this works. Ow! Oh! Holy crap! Where did my health go? The freaking Christmas tree is evil. <laughs> okay, but it worked. At least it worked. Alright, so you remember when I said... Um, make sure you have a Christmas cookie and a hot cho- Oh, dear lord. That looks awesome. That looks so cool sitting on the ground. Okay, so make sure you have hot chocolate and Christmas- And a Christmas cookie in your inventory. So whenever it turns nighttime and you go to sleep, Santa Claus will take these two things possibly and give you presents. Uh, so I need to go to sleep. Make sure you go- Why is my bed on top of the fridge? Ah, whatever. <laughs> let's go to sleep anyways. Alright, let's see. Um, let's see if- let's see, it'll say ho ho- YES! It worked! Okay, it said ho ho ho, and it left me presents. <gasps> Yay! Santa Claus came! It's so beautiful! Okay, let's put them all under the tree. Look! I got presents! So it gives you four of each, and then it takes, uh, your hot chocolate and the cookies. And look at this! This is so awesome! Let's break all these. Let's see what- let's see what loots I get. Let's see what loots I get. Okay, let's see what all I get. Uh, anything good? Uh, I got- I got two flint and steels? Freaking Santa, you're demented, dude! <laughs> you want me to just burn stuff down? You're insane, Santa. You're in freaking sane. Alright, one last thing uh, I want to show you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to load up a new world and run around it and show you some new changes really fast. And okay, yes, let's go do this. Alright, so whenever you load into a new world, 
everything is snowing. I mean, that's that's a jungle, right? And everything is snow. It even changes the tree leaves, I think. I don't know. But everything is now snow. There's snow in the desert. There's freaking snow in the desert. <laughs> All right, and that is an igloo. Let's run over to the igloo. Um, these things kind of suck. <laughs> they kind of hurt, but they have awesome stuff inside. All right, so you go into the igloo, right? And there's two spawners. Eee, I don't want to go in here. Okay, there's two. Eee, no, there's many snow golems in there, and there's presents in there. Okay, let's go on top. I really just. Oh, I just want a present. Just give me a present. Go down. Give me the presents and get out. Okay, and I go. Oh, an iron sword. I got an iron sword. Eee, I'm gonna die. Here, have a cake. Have a freaking. No, please. I need to get out. I oh. But yeah, dudes, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this mod review. I am tired of dying. It kind of sucks. <laughs> but yeah, uh, if you guys have enjoyed this video, be sure to show me some love, dudes. Hit that like button down below. Maybe we can get to uh, uh, 13 or 14,000 likes. That would be awesome, dudes. Appreciate all the support. And uh, also, if you are new to my channel and enjoyed the commentary, be sure to hit that subscribe button, dudes. I always enjoy new subscribers. And uh, I'll also put a link in the description to my Twitter and my Instagram. If you guys are at all inter interested, that would be awesome, dudes. I appreciate all the support. And, uh, yes, dudes, I will see you all later. Yo, dude, this bear is bipolar. <laughs>
Now you're gonna get it. Uh, take that, you monkey fuck. You're going in the ark. Another thing really amazing about Noah is that he can run so fast, he can actually outrun the screen. Which is really annoying because you can't see where you're going, so you have to stop just to let the screen catch up. Another sign of a badly designed game. Now it looks like we got all the animals, except the snakes. Now that's gotta be tricky, right? Grabbing them's out of the question. So let's pick up that thing and try to knock them out. Well, I can knock them out, but if I don't catch them, they're gone. I can't catch them either. Shit. How do you get those damn snakes? Well, guess what? I'm trying to get the wrong snakes. But how can you blame me? They're the first snakes you see in the game. Well, check this out. I go in this cave, and this is real frustrating because to climb the walls, you have to jump and hit the A button at the perfect timing. Then, once you get to the top, there you go. There's your snakes. So, these are the real snakes you're supposed to get, not the ones in the trees. They're only decoys. Challenge is one thing, but why does this game have to fucking trick me? So, don't get the snakes that you first see when you're walking around. Go take a wild guess. Climb through the cave until you find the real ones. Fuck this game. Now you thought that was bad? A game where you collect a bunch of objects to bring back to the middle of the board? How could it get any worse? Just watch. Our next game is Baby Moses. Alright, well, the object of the game is to get to the end of the level carrying Baby Moses. Now, this is really annoying because while carrying him, there's no way to defend yourself from everything that's out to kill you, and I do mean everything. If the soldiers catch Baby Moses, they throw him in the water. What assholes. And what's with this theme of carrying things? It's actually kind of a rip-off of Super Mario Bros. 2. Even the graphics kind of remind me of it. Except for those chocolate cats. Speaking of carrying things, look how many things she can stack. What kind of picture is this? Moses' mom carrying baby Moses, carrying a block of cheese, carrying a guy carrying a spear? I never thought I'd see that. Beware the black spaces. If you jump through them, you fall in the water and die. Whoa! Either that or I guess it shoots baby Moses up in the sky. What's going on? This game sucks ass. God, this is annoying. The only way to have any fun at all is to throw baby Moses in the water and then go explore the level without him. This is a weird game. What other game could you ever say, I just threw baby Moses in the water? For some reason, I can't stop saying baby Moses. Baby Moses, baby Moses. When you finish the level, it says good work, but you forgot <laughs> Baby Moses. I didn't forget him, I just didn't want him. Well, there's only one shitty game left. David and Goliath. Well, you're going around carrying sheep. Yeah, are you surprised? The object is to bring four sheep to this blinking arrow to advance to the next level. The originality just stuns me. And you know what? All three games use the same music. You'd rather listen to your only infant child puking to death. That is, choking on his own puke chunks. That's disgusting. I apologize. Those sheep are a bitch to carry, especially if you're trying to get past the lion. That lion hates sheep and anybody who carries sheep. However, if you go past them without the sheep, they don't give a shit. I can even pick the lion up and it doesn't care. Sure, try that in real life. Pick up a lion and see what happens. And while you're at it, just try to punch that lion in the nuts. Yeah, right in the fucking nuts. You can even use an acorn to knock the lion out. Damn, I wouldn't want to get hit by one of those acorns. Those lions are fucking wusses. What? What happened? Did you see that? That lion just fell flat on his ass. And he fell at the same time as this squirrel. So who knocked them both out? Well, let's take a look at the whole replay and see what happened. Here we see this squirrel throws an acorn. It clobbers the lion. Bam! Now, let's back up a bit. Just before he gets hit, this other squirrel throws an acorn, which comes right back down, and 
Bam! He knocked himself out with his own acorn. Dumb shit. Anyway, let's go get some sheep. I like the sheep sound effects. Come on, you damn sheep. I'm not gonna hurt you. Sheepy, sheepy. Sheepy, sheepy, sheepy. Fuck this. I feel like a stupid asshole going after all these sheep for no reason. The most fun I have in this game is watching that weird squirrel. I'm telling you, that squirrel does some weird shit. One minute it's sleeping, then it's running up and over the tree, and oh my god, look at that! It's a flying squirrel! Or it's like, climbing the sky. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is! Wow, they were on drugs when they made this game. Later in the game, you get a weapon, some kind of fireball or something, I don't know, but it sucks. It's just like the rock in Friday the 13th. It arcs over everybody you try to hit. What good is a weapon that doesn't go straight? Like, it deliberately dodges your target. What a piece of shit. Now, I know I'm sucking pretty bad at this, but unless you've played it, you have no idea how friggin' awful the controls are. It just feels slippery, and you feel like you have to force everything you're doing. But that only makes it more likely to overshoot a jump or undershoot it trying not to. Doesn't help either that there's all these rocks coming down. And finally, when I get up here, it's not even worth it because there's nowhere to go. I can't even go in those caves. So that's enough of this shit. Well, that's Bible Adventures. You thought that was weird? Well, wait till you see Bible Buffet. Yeah, Bible Buffet. When I first heard the title, I just didn't get it. My only guess is it has to do with food and the Bible. Well, guess what? I got half of that right. It definitely has to do with food, but there's no mention of anything from the Bible anywhere in this whole game. What is this I'm looking at? It's a board game? In fact, it's a rip-off of Candyland. Just look at it. All the different food-themed lands, like Potato Land, Barbecue Land, Pizza Land, Dessert Land. Player one. Oh my god, it's talking. Well, you spin the wheel, and you make some moves just like any board game. Then you get to play all these weird mini-games which sort of resemble an Atari game. The sound effects are classic. And it definitely resembles Attack of the Killer Tomatoes more than it does the Bible. So you lay down all these exploding pancakes which blow up everything. I think they're supposed to be oil drums or something, but everything else is some kind of food, so I'm just gonna call them exploding pancakes. I mean, this is just fucking weird. It might as well be anything. I mean, look at all this stuff that's trying to kill me. Potato chips and pizzas and pork chops and bottles, watermelons, ice cream cones, ice cubes, and cans of, like, soda coming out of a vending machine? Look, a snowman. Watch this. I'm gonna blow his fucking head off. Yeah, that snowman's dead as shit. I <sighs> just pushed that thing into the exit. But there's no way to get it back out. So, now I blocked myself from finishing the level, and my only choices now are to reset the game, or commit suicide. Every once in a while, you get a little quiz. True or false? Um, I guess true. Um, true or false? I guess false. What the hell am I guessing? It would help if I had the questions. You know where they are? They're in the manual. So, unless you still have the manual, let alone have the fucking game, you're not gonna know what the questions are. Now, what was the problem with putting the questions on the screen? Why didn't they do that instead? What were they thinking? All right! That voice is just crazy. I, I don't know what it is, but it just sounds out of place. Player Not that one. anything is in place, but I don't know. It's so rare to hear such a clear voice in a Nintendo game. But I suppose it's also rare for Nintendo to have a Bible game with no references to the Bible resembling Atari that's all about food trying to kill you, yet it's also a board game ripoff with quizzes that you can't answer. And if it's a Bible game, why do you blow a snowman's head off? Whatever happened to Thou Shall Not Kill? Please, somebody tell me, what the hell am I playing? I kind of like it, but I gotta turn it off before I go insane. So let's play another Bible game. It's the Book of Genesis on Sega Genesis, and the soundtrack is Genesis. 
I'm just making this up, but let's move on to Super Nintendo and check out this game that I'm actually not making up. I couldn't even come up with anything half as crazy if I tried. This is Super Noah's Ark 3D, yet it's also referred to as Super 3D Noah's Ark because of the way the title art's misrepresented. So, who knows? Call it whatever you want. Call it Super 3D Fuck Farts if you want. I know it's weird, but the weirdness actually starts with the cartridge. As you can see, it looks like no other Super Nintendo game you've ever seen. In fact, it doesn't even look like a game at all. It looks more like a game genie. By this time, I believe Nintendo was catching on to the fact that Wisdom Tree was making these Bible games for their system without their permission. So what I think happened was, when Super Nintendo came out, they put a new lockout chip inside the system, which only allows games licensed by Nintendo to work. So, how many Super Nintendo games came out not licensed by Nintendo? Well, just one, and it found a way. By plugging an official Super Nintendo game into the top of it, it overrides the lockout chip, and you can play it. The question is, would you want to? Well... Actually, yeah, you would. What other first-person shooter game do you get to play as Noah? I really can't believe this game exists, but it seems to be a fact because I'm playing it. Now, does it look like Wolfenstein 3D? Yes. In fact, it is Wolfenstein 3D. It doesn't even count as a ripoff. It's the same fucking game, but with Noah. Instead of shooting Nazis, he's shooting goats. All the levels are exact duplicates, but what's really funny to know is that there's a story going around that id, the company that made Wolfenstein and Doom, they gave their own game to Wisdom Tree for them to turn into this. Why? Well, according to the rumor, id was pissed off that the Super Nintendo version of Wolfenstein was inferior to the PC version, and that Nintendo basically butchered it by toning down the violence, as well as altering numerous other things. So, as some sort of joke or whatever, id handed the source code over to Wisdom Tree for them to make the mockery which you're looking at now. And there's a bit of a conspiracy going on. According to the Bible, Noah puts two of each animal in the ark, right? Well, according to this game, he put a whole bunch of goats on there. And if that's not crazy enough, guess what? All those goats want Noah dead. Damn. Why is there so many of them, and why do you shoot them with a slingshot? I think that would actually make them more angry. I can't even see what you're supposed to be shooting at them anyway. It just looks invisible. It's supposed to be food, I guess, but why does it put the animals to sleep? Well, I guess Noah shoots the food so hard that it knocks the animals unconscious. Now, what's even stranger is how they attack you. They just do like these weird kicks from a mile away, and they hit you. Like, how do they even reach? Listen to how cheerful the music is. Wow, that's great. It's just what you need is some really upbeat music to go along with Noah getting murdered by a bunch of fucking goats. So, that's it. There's more animals along the way, but you get the idea. So, as we've seen, every one of these Bible games rips off something. So just to show you another example, let's take a look at Spiritual Warfare on the Nintendo. Okay, right off the bat, what does this game look like? Hmm, well here's some hints. Look, it's an aerial view with like bushes and rocks. You start off with three hearts for health. You hold two items. You go into a little cave and you talk to someone. And when you walk to the next area, the screen moves. There's that square shaped stairwell. And there's a raft. You go down ladders with gray stone walls. And when you start the game, you get to type in a name. Well, if you can't already tell what this game looks like, let me spell it out. That's right, Zelda. Let's recap, shall we? In Zelda, we have an aerial view with bushes and rocks. You start off with three hearts for the health. You hold two items. You go into a little cave and you talk to someone. And when you walk to the next area, the screen moves. There's that square-shaped stairwell. You go down the ladders with the gray stone walls. There's your raft. And when you start the game, you type in a name. What a shameless ripoff. Well, at least they came up with a few original ideas, like sometimes when you kill your enemies, a flying devil comes out, 
And besides just the usual rocks and bushes or trees or whatever, they randomly have all these garbage cans placed about. That's where this game belongs, the fucking garbage! Alright, let's play one more game. King of Kings. Oh, great. Three more games. Fuck. Let's do Wise Men. Well, you're on a camel. You're basically just trying to ride to the end of the level. Your obstacles include lizards, a cactus that comes up out of the ground, flying rocks, porcupines shooting needles, moving pitfalls, and blocks that come down and stun you. Just like in Bible Adventures, the control is really awkward, but here it's so bad it's nearly unplayable. So every once in a while, you pick up these scrolls that make you answer questions about the Bible. Like, who is Jesus' mother? Well, that would be Mary. Now, why are there quizzes in the middle of this game? Quizzes aren't fun. Quizzes make you feel like you're in school. Games are fun. Quizzes, not fun. Put them together. So, you'd probably rather just play the game than answer the questions, which would be a good reason to just avoid the scrolls, but if you get the questions right, you get energy, which you want. Now, a lot of these questions are true or false, and once you get used to that, you tend to not look at the words true and false, because you instinctively assume true always comes above false, but no, not with this game. They alternate just to trick you. Many times I accidentally pick false when I mean to pick true. I mean, what's up with that shit? Just keep them the same. Now let's try Flight to Egypt. It's bad. Alright, Jesus in the Temple, last fucking game. Let's get it over with. Okay, another rip-off of Super Mario Bros. 2, where you're jumping on logs to get across the waterfall. Well, at least they upped the challenge on those logs, but it's just flat-out annoying. The logs have the most erratic pattern. Sometimes you jump too early, thinking that the next log is gonna come, but it doesn't. Then, just to tease you, it pops up at the bottom, crawling up the waterfall just to sit there and mock you. Other times, the second log shows up, but once you're on it and expecting the third one, it doesn't come. But just for one final kick in the balls, it throws all these other logs down to make you think that you can salvage it and jump your way back to safety to try again. But no, not quite. The graphics are really flawed. I mean, usually you know to time your jumps once you see that log coming up over the waterfall, but sometimes they just appear at random, which doesn't give you enough time to react. Also, what's going on with those colors in the sky? Looks like something you might see if you take too much LSD. There's really nothing else worth mentioning with this game. It just sucks, and I can't even stand to play it anymore. I'd rather fuck a porcupine and shove a cactus up my ass. I'd rather slurp crap oozing out of a warthog's anus hole. It's just a bunch of poopy, diarrhea, doo-doo ass shit. That's it. So, Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, Happy Kwanzaa, Happy Birthday Jesus, whatever. Happy Holidays. See ya in 2007. There we go. Oh, there we go. All perfect. Jump up here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, the star looks beautiful. Oh, hey, Woody. Ow. Wee. Okay, Mario. Finally done the tree. What do you think? Oh, oh, oh this is so good. What did you say, Luigi? I said that the tree is done. Luigi, how come you're dressed like a complete idiot? It's Christmas time. Everybody's supposed to dress like an idiot. Oh, you just had to go and remind me, Luigi. Of what? I hate Christmas. You hate Christmas? Since when? Oh, since forever and ever? I've always hated Christmas, don't you know that? No, why do you hate Christmas so much? Luigi, don't you remember what happened last year? No. Well, it was Christmas morning. Okay, Mario, open your present. Oh, I love getting some presents. Oh, what was inside? Oh my god, 
You got me a fruitcake, Kermit? Yeah, isn't that awesome? I hate fruitcakes! And also, our very first Christmas, which I find a little bit pathetic. <laughs> And that's why I hate Christmas. I always get fruit cakes. You know what, Luigi? I'm just gonna sleep in all day tomorrow. Okay? See you on Boxing Day, Luigi. Oh, stupid Luigi. Christmas is just so pointless. You know? I hate it so much. I hate Christmas so much! You know what? Just gonna sleep in all day. Just, just gonna sleep in, roll up nice and tight, so I won't be woken up. Yes, it is, Mario. Oh, I can't believe it. You're alive, Kermit. You're alive. Well, I'm happy to see you too, but there's just one thing that I forgot to tell you. What is that? I'm not alive. I'm a ghost. Oh, no, you can't. You can't be. No, you're not a ghost. Yes, I am. Oh, oh, okay, I believe you. Well, good. Now, I've come to warn you. Oh, what is that? Well, I've come to warn you that you'll be visited by three ghosts tonight, other than me. But why? Because you don't like Christmas and these ghosts will teach you a lesson. Good luck, Mario. I hope these ghosts can help you change your ways. No, Kermit, don't go! Oh! 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 It was just a dream. I must have been having nightmares about Gourmet again. <laughs> well, I'm going back to bed. Mario! Oh, oh! What was that? Mario, I am the ghost of Christmas past. I'm going to show you your Christmas. Past. Well, no, you're not. You're just Jack Skellington. Uh, no, I'm the ghost of Christmas past. For some reason. Now, come with me. Wow! 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 Oh! 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 Here we are. Oh! 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 Covered in snow. <laughs> Well, here we are at your very first Christmas, Mario. Really? At our very first Christmas? Yes, very first Christmas. You got me a look, fruit cake. You got a fruit cake, yeah, right? Got a fruit cake, dude. Yeah, I got a fruit cake. No, oh, I hate fruit, fruit cakes. Would you rather have a fruit cake than nothing? Uh, actually, I'd rather have nothing. <laughs> well, let's go take a look at Pikachu's Christmas. See how you think much better it is than yours. Well, okay, anything's better than mine. <sighs> oh. Where are we? Oh, we're in Ricky's room. Let's go over to Ricky's closet, shall we? Oh. Here we are, Ricky's closet. Oh. <laughs> it's so cold in this closet. I have no food. Uh, but I really, I know Ricky will remember me soon. I, I know he'll remember that I'm here. Uh, I'm so hungry. Yeah, he'll definitely remember I'm here. I mean, it's Christmas. He's gotta remember that I'm here. It's his favorite toy, right? Uh. <laughs> do you see that, Mario? He, 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 Pikachu got nothing. Now do you still want a fruit cake rather than nothing? I told you before, Jack. I will tell you again. I'd rather have nothing than have a stupid fruit cake. Uh. Well, it's time for us to go back now. Uh, Jack, you're still here. Okay, now we're really gonna go, okay? Three, two, one. 
I guess I'm going to be visited by two more ghosts now. Well, better be prepared. Okay, Mario. I am the ghost of Christmas present, and I am here to show you Christmas present. Here, come with me. Here we are, Mario. I'm gonna show you Luigi. He's not gonna be pretty, but he's, he's a little upset. Oh, Mario! Why do you have to ruin Christmas for me every year? Oh, my hat's coming off with everything. Why am I even wearing this stupid thing? It's not fair. It's just not fair. Why does Mario have to ruin all of my Christmases? Just because he gets a fruit cake. You know what, people? You know what? I should just run away from home. Yeah, and start my new life without my brother. I'm 41 years old. I can take care of myself. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna run away from home, start a new life without Mario, and I'll have lots of good, happy Christmases. Then <sighs> I go pack my stuff. Luigi! No! Show you your Christmas future. Oh. Okay, well, show me. Okay, here we go. Oh, oh. oh that didn't work. Oh, let's just go out the door. Here we are, Mario. Your Christmas future. Let's go see. <laughs> <laughs> Mario, why would you have to die? Mario, why you have to eat Christmas? It's not fair. It's not fair. It's why not you have fair. to go and eat Christmas? <laughs> if you late Christmas, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh, Mario. This is your Christmas future. Oh, I'm gonna die? How can I die? How could this be possible? All because I didn't hate. All because I hated Christmas. Oh, yes. Let's see what happens, shall we? Christmas so much. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, I'm alive. <laughs> Mario, why'd you have to die? I don't like you have to eat Christmas. It's not 
fair. It's not fair. It's Why'd not you have fair. to go and hate Christmas? <laughs> if you liked Christmas, this wouldn't have happened. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Oh, come on, Mario. Let's go back. Okay, now I'm gonna return you to your room again. Oh. 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 Oh, one second. Oh. 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 The batteries are dead. Oh. 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 I keep on dropping it. Oh. Okay. Here you go! Oh. Oh. What day is it? Oh, I hope it's on Boxing Day! Oh, I hope there's still time! Hey, boy! What day is it today? I say, old chap! It's Christmas! And I'm sweating the time of the year! Oh, yeah, 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 whatever! I'm gonna go save Luigi! Oh, Luigi! I hope it's not too late! Oh, 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 oh. No, Luigi, don't go! Why? Uh, you, you can't go, you just can't. Well, why not? Tell me why I can't go. Because you're my brother. It's, wait, wait, wait a second. How do you know I was going to leave? Let's just say I had a, I had a little bit of help from my friends. <laughs> I'm surprised you have any friends by the way you act. Listen, Luigi, I'm really, really sorry. I'm sorry for all the times I've ever made you upset. Can you please, please forgive me? I, I'm thankful for all the, everything that I have. It, it's too late, Mario. You, you, it's too late to say sorry. You know what? I just wish we could have a normal Christmas where you don't act like that. How do I know you're like... How do I know if you're, if you're truly sorry or you just don't want me to go? You probably just want me around to make Christmas dinner and like put up all the lights and everything and do all the work for you. That's probably why you don't want me to leave. No, Luigi, I'll put up the lights. I already put up the lights, Mario. Uh, I'll help you decorate the tree, come on. I already did the tree. Uh, I'll make Christmas dinner. I'll, make, I'll prepare everything. Mm. I guess I can give you one more chance. Whoopee! <laughs> if you only promise not to burn the turkey. Oh, that'll be a little bit tough. Come on, let's go open our presents now. Oh, ye yeah, presents. Oh, wait, Luigi, you know what? I want to give you my present first. Oh, really? That's really nice of you, Mario. Well, where is it? Oh, just follow me and I'll show you. Oh, almost forgot. Gotta make sure you don't peek. Oh, okay. Let's see. Come on, Luigi. Uh, one step, uh, two steps. Ouch! Oh, Luigi, you fool. Oh, Luigi, no peeking. Okay. No, no, there we go. Okay. Okay, Luigi, stay right here. How come? Because it's a surprise. Okay. So when I count to three, you can take off the hat, okay? Okay. One, two, three. me a trivia that was a thousand dollars. I thought I should get you the same thing as for the same value, you know, since I broke it and everything. Oh, I thank you so much, Matthew. I really appreciate it. No problem, Luigi. <gasps> oh, this is so awesome. Now you can make it be a band. Oh, yeah. Okay, come on. I'm going to show you what I got you now. Oh, oh boy. Oh, boy. I hope you got me something worth a thousand dollars, because if you didn't... Uh... Here it is, Mario. Oh, very last present. Oh, Seems nice, it's uh, a bit small, but uh, yeah, let's see what's inside. Okay, here you go, go open it. <laughs> Luigi, I can't believe it. You got me. You got me. You got me a fruitcake. Eee, don't you like it? <sighs> <sighs> yeah, Luigi. Oh, Mario, you are here. Let's go. Ah! 
Ugh, I hate this stupid thing. What's the point of it? Please, what's the point of this stupid thing? Oh, happy holidays, everyone! And remember, if anybody gets you a fruit cake, just do what I do. <laughs> happy holidays from Mario Mario 8989. Living too. Oh, 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 that's right, Luigi. And don't you ever get me a fruit cake again! Ah, soon there'll be presents under this tree. Ooh. Oh my God! What do you want, Homer? I'm not gonna get anything. You're not gonna get anything. Why? Because you've been a little prick. I can't understand you! I never mailed my list to Santa! You never mailed your list to Santa? I was not supposed to! Homer, it's Christmas Eve! No, oh, no biggie! Yes, it is a biggie! Oh, you're getting nothing. Mm, Homer, come on! Let's go get a pen and paper and write it! Oh, great. Come on! What happens if he doesn't get it in time? If he doesn't get it in time, it's your fault! <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, come on. Get writing, I have to go make all that stupid cooking crap, so I'm gonna go make some, uh, whatever is in the fridge for the Christmas Eve feast? I don't know, forget. My handwriting is not that good, but I'll give it my all. Dear! Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I think I broke it. Dear Sidney, I root a good days many you for Christ Moose and I also root uh oh uh, oops the pen's broken I also root lipstick for my sloppy joes. That's what I got. These bad boys. Period. That's the melon. The baby I'm right the melon. What did I make? Hmm. Waffles. Those will be good. And since my family never gets any food. What is it? My list is done! Jump C! Okay, I'm coming! Hey Homer, what is it? My list. Homer, you just crinkled up a ball! It's gonna get to him on time, trust me. Okay, I'll go. How about you go put it in the mailbox? I'm extremely busy making waffles. Okay! Oh boy, everything tip top shape. I think I can go do bed now. Hey! What's up? What the hell are these? Dirty dishes. Dirty dishes, huh? <laughs> Why aren't they done? I'm not doing that now. You better do it and then tuck Homer in. Okay. <laughs> this goes here. Hey! You're not doing it fast enough. Sorry. Go faster. <laughs> faster! Oh, go faster! <laughs> ah! Great, now I gotta clean up. Oh boy, the whole family. Yeah. Shippy B! What? What are you doing? I'm hungry! I know you're hungry, and so am I! 
Where are you? I'm taking a shower. Hurry up! Wow, a big plate. What the hell is this? I hate you! What you always- What do you mean? I'm a desperate man! Why do you think I kidnapped the princess? My big plate! <laughs> Spreading Christmas joy. Shut uh -huh. up! Tell me one more time. How do you feel about lung cancer? Oh, sorry, I'm Do you want that. lung cancer? No. <laughs> hey, I don't have a spoon. Rob, can I have your spoon? Sure. Let me pass it to you. No crying on Christmas. I'm bored. Hey, do you know any Christmas carols? Yeah, I know one. Sing it. Where is the medical marijuana? Where is the medical marijuana? Where is the medical marijuana? Ow! Where's the food? Shut up, Grim, trying to satisfaction my tail. It's so pretty. Christmas is annoying! Santa didn't get my list! What's that? Santa didn't get your letter? You know what, what that means? What? That means no presents for you! <laughs> no dessert! No dessert! Never mind. Dessert, dessert! Where's the dessert? I lied. Only so you wouldn't let the tree on fire. Also, Santa never got your letter. Santa didn't get my letter? No dessert? No dessert. Or present.
come see what Santa brought you. What did Santa bring me? I don't know. Oh, I'm gonna open them. Oh. 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 What are they? What are they? Socks! Yeah! Good, I needed those. Uh. Thank you, Santa. Come on, one more. Uh. 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 What is it? What is it? This one's hard. Uh. I never wear deodorant. <laughs> well, maybe he brought it because he knew you smell like crap. Do I smell good now? Better than you <laughs> used to. I didn't get a good day's menu. <gasps> no! Christmas is ruined! So, in conclusion, Officer Chicken Fry got a pen and paper. Homer threw away his gifts. <laughs> Rob got gyromite for the NES. Yay. Bowser got... Waffles! Woo! Woody got Orbit gum. Minty fresh. Kitty got a hat to keep him warm in the winter. I live outside. Krusty got medical marijuana, but he already smoked it. So, we got him a collar. And Luigi got dog food. Yay. Nick got an NES. Really? Yes, he did. And Blizzard got kidnapped. Oh, I'm so hungry. That was an easy job. I'm the only one that we throw our trash around here. Dad, what all the junk? Here you go. Merry Christmas. Is it from you? From, from both, both of us. I don't want it from her. Open it. Nav, Nav Grip XO Dash Mouth. What is that? Here. It's for this. Oh. Yeah, 
have the GPS. He said you need the GPS so you can see where you're going. Are you trying to tell me something? You told me. Are you trying to get rid of me? How do you work it? How do you work it? I don't really know. I'll have to help you with that later. And I got your big old stocking. What's in the stocking, man? All candy, dude. I, I don't eat candy. Well, you're going to start today, ain't you? Combos. Hey, banana bread. I like banana bread now. No shit. Just ass a candy in here. Man. It's loaded. I ain't pulling my Look at that shit. Damn. I get diabetes for sure now. I, I appreciate that, Mike. I really do. You want the phone. But I got something for you. Nah, that's what I'm waiting for. Michael, I, I, I feel bad, okay? I feel bad for what I've done. I got something for you, son. All right. Uh, 95. All right. Merry Christmas, Michael. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I, I wish you opened it. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah! Oh, hey, how about okay. that? All right. Oh How about that, Michael? Dude. Oh my god. Yo, I, I love you, son. I love you, son. It's alright. I love you, son. Love oh you. my god, this is so Come awesome. Over that, over that, over that. I appreciate it, Dad, because that was fucked up. That over the, I know, so that was really bad what I did. So open it up and look, take a look. I'm so proud of you. Oh, I get a free digital download. Yeah, I mean, I'm proud. I got a few, son. Thank you very much, Dad. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Merry Christmas, Michael! <laughs> oh my god, I can't stand it! <laughs> Merry Christmas, Michael! <laughs> hey, go play, go get a play. <laughs> Michael, I got you your game. Even though it's got a brick in it, I knew it ain't the same. <laughs> Merry Christmas, Michael. Hey, I appreciate the GPS, so I'm gonna go look at it. Let's go. You only think about yourself, dude. Bro, what the hell's the wrong, what's wrong with you? I got you your box. What's, where's the game that's supposed to be a diet? I got you, thank you, have me, you can do it. Then you can bring my table, you can buy me one. Bunch of shit, hey, 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 You don't touch my TV, man. I'll tell you that right now. Oh, don't forget your game when you go. That's not a game! Stop saying don't forget the game! That ain't shit but a box! Well, get your box and your brick and go! Get the real one, dude. I know you got the thing. I swear to God, I don't. You got it, now just go get it! I gave you what I gave you. That's it. Get out! Merry Christmas. I don't want to get out until I get something for Christmas. Oh, hell, I'll give you something. I'll give you something real good. Whatever, dude. Get out! I'm trying to get out of your damn house! Better go, boy. Self-defense. That was some bullshit is what that was. Well, Merry Christmas anyway. Have a good one. See ya. Get out! This week's feast? Who has from the Grinch who stole Christmas? Happy holidays, feasters! Yay! We're all dressed up. Kiwi, look at how cute you are. I know, Kiwi is like the perfect match. Mwah. The best little reindeer. The only reindeer in my heart. All right, Kiwi, I know you hate being here, so let's put you down. Okay, bye-bye. Bye-bye, Max Kiwi. Ooh, wow. A lot of hair. We'll have to get rid of that before we start cooking this delicious feast today. Yes, which you guys have all been asking for. It's the holiday season. It's perfect. It's going to warm your hearts. It's going to warm your bellies. Mm -hmm. It and is. Who hash? It's going to make you want to steal it, too. Then he slugged to the icebox. He took the Who's Feast. He took the Who Pudding. He took the roast beast. He cleaned out the ice box as quick as a flash. Why, that Grinch even took the last can of who hash. In fact, I need to go into full costume, full disguise now. Are you ready? Okay. I'm so, ready. Who are you? You're supposed to be the Grinch. I am the Grinch. I'm hiding as a present. Yep. 
let's steal. Okay. Yes, so this recipe is delicious. You guys have been requesting it for a while. We're actually going to use canned vegetables mm -hmm. in this recipe, which you might be asking, why would they do that? But we want to be authentic to the recipe. That's right. It was probably in a can based on what we've seen in the cartoon. He did steal it from a so can, so. We are using entirely canned vegetables, canned meat to recreate this delicious and iconic holiday dish. That's right. It's going to be so good. It's going to be delicious. You can make it for your friends, for your family, anytime during the holiday season. In fact, it's just yeah. always seasonal. It's going to be delicious. <laughs> it is going to be delicious. Yes. Have some faith in us. Aha. Some Christmas need, holiday faith. We need some holiday spirit from this Grinch. Ho, ho, ho. Listen, he's going to be wanting to steal every can by the end of this episode. That's right. Just like... I wish I could smile as big as he does. I know. And it curls over. Oh. I can't wait. Let's get cooking! Yeah. Begin by opening up a can of white potatoes, strain the liquid out, and chop these into small cubes. Alternatively, you can just buy some potatoes, boil them in some water, skin them, and do the same. They just need to be soft. Next, cut half an onion and dice it up. We couldn't actually find any onions in a can at the store, so we're going fresh with these ingredients. There are plenty of ways to dice an onion, so choose your method and get chopping. Now for the hash itself. Ugh. Open a can of corned beef hash and cut these into the same size cubes as your potatoes. Now to make it easier, you can also refrigerate the can beforehand so the meat is easier to cut. Now we're almost ready to cook. The last ingredient to prep is garlic, so smash a clove and finally mince it up. Oil a pan on medium-high heat, smiley face optional, and begin sauteing your onions, then garlic, and add the corned beef hash. Add your potatoes last and mix together before adding in some rosemary, salt, and pepper. Brown your ingredients in the pan for 7 to 10 minutes on low heat. Then take your Who Hash and add it to one of the cans you opened earlier and slap on that Feast of Fiction Who Hash label for the full effect. Voila! The holiday season is here and it wouldn't be complete without a little Grinch flavor. Or in this case, the authentic Whoville flavors of their canned Who Hash and is complemented with a sprig of rosemary and some scrambled eggs. Just don't let that nasty Grinch see it before you get to eat it yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So good, look, it looks so cute. So cute. Kind cute. of like dog food mixed with potatoes, but. It definitely looks like dog food. We'll see how it tastes, huh? Kiwi's been staring at it the entire Wait, time. should we get some of the eggs with it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. Cheers. And a happy holiday. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That is pretty good. That is good hash. You know? Wow. When it's cold outside, you want something to warm you up, you got this who hash right here. <laughs> the garlic, the rosemary, we really jazzed up this canned food. The rosemary adds a lot to it, actually. I really like that a lot. Mm -hmm. It's like a little, just a little, a little hint on the side. This is really good, guys. Nobody will even know you used a bunch of canned Stuff to make this. That's what well, I think is so ingenious about this. That's recipe. the point of who hash. It comes in a can, so it may as well be made from things in a can. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Also, keep in mind, if canned veggies aren't your thing, you much rather would prefer the fresh things. Get fresh potatoes. Fresh potatoes. Get a fresh potatoes. onion. You know. Yeah. Lots of ways to go about this recipe. This yep. is just our version because it is thematic with the show slash movie slash Grinch in general. Anyway, right. we here at Feast of Fiction, as always, wish you guys a very merry holiday season. It's whatever. been a great year. It's been an amazing year. Whatever you may celebrate, whatever you're doing, I hope you guys are surrounded by loved ones, family, and the people that support you the most. And the delicious food. Yes, delicious food. A staple of the holiday season, no matter where you are in the world. That's right. But you know what, guys? We have a lot of awesome announcements coming in the future. In 2019, it's going to be a great year. I see a lot of big things on the horizon. If you're excited, let us know in the comments, and please... Tell us what you want to see us make next on the show. Yep, don't forget to subscribe. Follow us on all social medias at JF Wong, at Ash Rochelle, at Feast of Fiction. Bingo. And have a safe and happy holidays, everyone. We'll see you next year. Bye. Bye. Well, the Christmas season is upon us again. And throughout the year, I've been playing a lot of my Nintendo DS because the system has a lot of great games. Now, for this episode, I thought I'd pick five of those and do a short review on each. So, here we go. The first game is the new Super Mario Bros. If you have a Nintendo DS, this game is an absolute must. This is a whole new Mario game that includes classic enemies, but with a whole new variety of power-ups. Like the mushrooms that make you huge, for instance. So you can smash anything that stands in your way. Woohoo! 
Look at them go! Or mushrooms that'll shrink you down to the size of a quarter. There's even a turtle shell power up that's pretty cool as well. Now this game has tons of levels to explore, and each world is unique and a lot of fun to play. So overall, you just can't go wrong with this game. Now the second one I'd like to suggest is Mr. Driller. Now this one's kind of an obscure title, but it's really fun to play. This title is a puzzle game, and your goal is to keep on drilling deeper into the earth until you reach your goal. But during your descent, you'll have to collect air capsules so you don't run out of air, watch for falling rocks that could squash you, and avoid drilling through rocks that end up depleting your air supply. Once you get far enough in the game, you'll be able to start unlocking different characters, and each one has their own unique digging abilities that will help you get further in the game. And the cool part is that one of the unlockable characters is the character Dig Dug. How cool is that? So, this game is totally fun, and you don't want to miss it. The third game on my list is Contra 4. I've always been a big fan of Contra games, and this one's no exception. This one tends to bring back all the memories of the old NES version, but with better graphics. Of course, the further you advance, the harder it gets. So having a second player on to help you out is almost critical if you want to beat the game. Although my only disappointment is that they left out the 30 lives code that was infamous in the first game. But if you love the original, you're gonna love this one. Now my fourth suggestion is a combination of three games, because, well, they're all pretty cool to play. And those are the LEGO games, which includes LEGO Star Wars, LEGO Indiana Jones, and LEGO Batman. The one thing I love about all these LEGO games is all the puzzles you have to solve to get to the end. Now I think the best part of these games is collecting certain LEGO pieces to unlock other playable characters. Then after you've beaten a certain level, you can then take these characters to levels you've beaten already and go back and find tons of hidden areas that you couldn't reach before. Now out of these three LEGO games, Indiana Jones is probably the shortest to play through, but hell, it's still a lot of fun. The last suggestion I have is the game Castlevania Portrait of Ruin. Now, unlike the Castlevanias of the NES days, the style of gameplay here is a bit different, but after I got used to it, I found that I couldn't put this one down. The main downside, of course, is that Simon Belmont's not the main character, but instead replaced by two young kids, a boy and a girl. Now this game kind of reminds me of the game Diablo in a lot of ways, as you have to travel to different areas and kill off enemies to increase your skill level and learn new spells. I had a lot of fun with this one, and aside from the huge castle to explore, you can also find some other huge levels by jumping through these paintings. Yep, tons of fun. Well, that concludes my list. I want to wish everybody a happy new year, and thank everybody for watching my videos throughout the year 2008 and let everybody know that 2009 is going to be even better. Got great ideas, even a new mini-series is going to be showing up in the next uh, month or two months or so. But until then... Merry Christmas, everyone. Have a nice break. Hold it right there, Caillou. You have been a very bad boy this year. I will give you a detention slip. No, 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 no. I hate my life. Too bad, so sad. Get your butt to detention. Welcome to detention. There will be no talking, no sleeping, no listening to music, no daydreaming, no chewing gum, no humming, and no burping or farting. It's Christmas break. I want to go home. I said no talking. Please, let me go home. If you talk one more time, I will call your dad to send you home. I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to go home. You asshole. That's it. I'm calling your dad. I don't care if you call my dad. I just want to go home for Christmas break. Hello? Is this Boris? Your son Caillou is talking in detention. Can you pick him up, please? Okay. Bye. I already called your dad, and he's coming in an hour. Now stay in detention until he picks you up. That's just great. I have to stay here for an hour to wait for my dad. This is the worst day ever. Let's go home, Caillou. You're going to be in big trouble.
Now go to your room. I don't care because I'm on Christmas break. Get your butt to your room now. Whatever you say, Dad. I have to get my laptop. God damn it. I forgot that my mom took away my laptop as a punishment. But hey, at least I still have some paper in the playroom. I'm gonna go get some. Okay, now I'm going to write out my things that I want for Christmas. Yes, I have finished my Christmas list. Now Santa will know that I have been a good boy this year. Yes, it's finally Christmas. I'm going to see if Santa gave me any candy this year. No, 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 no. I didn't get any candy. That's right, Caillou. You got no candy this year because you were a bad boy. However, I did bring you one special present. Really? Yes. I'll go get it for you. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. No, 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 no,